We're covering Colorado first with your forecast. Oh, taking a look west. I tell you, a lot of clouds out there, Chris. Yeah, a few clouds. You know, we're nearing the peak or just past the peak of daytime heating, and that convective or churning motion down here near the surface helps build up some clouds. And a few of those a little bit dark, and you may be thinking, oh, no, is it going to rain? Well, most of you probably know. A few showers down near Pikes Peak. We'll look at that on radar here in just a second. How about this? Let's take a look at temperatures closer up 60s and 70s east and west right now. Very comfortable evening. 50s in the higher elevation, so it's a little bit chilly from Steamboat down through Frisco and Leadville. 73 in Alamosa, 68 over in Burlington at this hour. Mark Milligan, 60 degrees. He is at 10,676 feet. That's pretty warm for that altitude west of Fair Play. 69 from Bruce Knight in the Boulder area. 70, the official number today at the airport in downtown. 48, our official low. We were 51 here at CBS4. Normals are 72 and 43. Sunset tonight at 8.08. There's a regional satellite and radar. Uh, some active storms down in the Texas, Arkansas, Louisiana vicinity. Here in Colorado, most of us are on the dry side, but with the daytime heating uh, over the past hour or so, just a handful of little showers have popped up in the Colorado Springs area and west into the Pikes Peak vicinity. A few lightning strikes there. Uh, we may see a few more showers into the evening. Here's future cast between now and probably 8 o'clock, the best window for those showers. Once we lose daytime heating, they should go away. Overnight, quiet and dry, just some passing clouds here and there. Tomorrow morning, a couple of clouds on the eastern plains, but most of us dry. And as we move into your day on Sunday, the story will be warming temperatures with maybe a handful of little pop-up showers over the higher terrain, but most of you are going to stay dry. The story turns to windy and hot by Monday. A big ridge of high pressure coming in from the southwest will bring some of the warmest weather so far this season. I want to remind you, a lot of the States, especially south of I-70 in drought with pockets of extreme drought there, the red areas you see. And that's not good news considering we have a couple of very warm days ahead with the wind picking up. The National Weather Service has a fire weather watch for all areas in yellow on Monday. And that very likely uh, may expand as we get closer to Monday itself. 40s and 50s east and west tonight. 30s in the high country. For your highs tomorrow, we'll tack on about 5, 7, maybe in some cases 10 degrees to the numbers we had today. 79, my forecast in Denver. 80s in the southeast. Grand Junction and Cortez, you will near 90. And on Monday, you'll probably hit the 90s. We may flirt with 90 here in Denver. We'll see some mid-90s in the southeast. 70s and 80s in our high country as a very, very warm air mass moves our way out of the deserts. For for tomorrow, sunny 79, Kathy 89, breezy and warm on your Monday. Starting Tuesday, we'll see a few thunderstorms come back into the forecast and some slightly cooler weather by Wednesday. But between now and then, a couple of hot, dry days to get through with growing fire danger on the way. That is hot. All right. Thank you, Chris. Well,